Hi, and welcome to Tilde Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make a multi-page website on Tilda. We are going to learn how to add new pages, link them together, and give them custom URL addresses. So let's get into today's tutorial. I'm going to start from signing up in Tilda. To do so, I need to type in my name, my email address, and a password. No, I'm not a robot. And here we go. Once I've signed up, a pop-up appears, suggesting to create a new website. Today, I'm going to make a website for the Travel Club. So I name my project and hit the Create button. I've just created a new project and now I want to activate a two-week Tilda personal plan. This is free and it will allow me to use all the options available on pay tariffs. OK, now I go back to Dashboard and click on my website. For this website, I want to create three pages, a home page and two inner pages. I'll start from a home page. To create a new home page, I click Create New Page here on top. Here, I can either choose one of the Tilda templates or opt for a blank page and start designing from scratch using blocks. This is the home page I created for the Travel Club. Let's have a look at it. You can see tours and trips with some photos. The team section follows, giving some info about the folks who organize the club. Then there is a tour registration form and the contacts. I want to make two more inner pages. One of them will give some more details about the team members and the second one will present a specific trip. To create a new inner page, I want to go back to the website section. Here I can see the home page I've just made. So let's create another page now. This time, I want to use the templates available on Tilda. I'll go to the inner page tab and try to find a template that works for me. I think this template is the one I'm looking for. I select it here by clicking Create. There is little left to do. I just need to edit this page, replace the content, in order to get the page the way I want it. This is how my inner page looks after editing. There is a detailed story about each of the team members. The page is done. Now I want to create a second inner page. This time, I'll make it out of a blank page and start everything from scratch. This is how it looks. It basically gives all the information about the tour to Georgia. Now let's go back to the list of the pages we have already created. Now there are three of them. We've got one home page and two inner pages. Now it is very important that the home page is correctly assigned in the site settings. In order to do this, go to the site settings and hit the home page tab. Here, in this little drop down menu, I select the page I want to set as a home page. In my case, it's a tour club page. Save changes and return to the list. Now you can see a small house icon that appeared next to the page name, confirming that this page is now assigned as a home page. Each page of the website should have its own address called URL. First, I want to set the address for the home page. What I'm going to do is I open Site Settings and type the home page address in the field 
custom subdomain on tilde. Another option is to connect the custom domain. Hit the Domain tab on the left pane and connect your own domain address. For example, nationclub.com To connect the custom domain, you first want to set it in tilde, then you go back to the domain registrar website where you bought it and register the IP addresses that link it to tilde. For this tutorial, I will only use the custom subdomain on tilde, which I already defined. So the last thing left to do is to save the changes. Now I want to add URL addresses for my inner pages. I can do that in page settings by clicking on a small gear. The first inner page will be called Team. So I type its name in the page URL field. Save changes. The second inner page about the tour will be called Georgia. So I do exactly the same thing. Page settings, page URL, here I type Georgia. And I save changes. Before you're actually able to open pages at the URLs we have just assigned, the pages need to be published. To do so, I click Publish All Pages at the top and a pop-up with the address of the home page appears. I click on it. Right, the home page opens. Now what can we do to make the pages social networks and SEO friendly? In page settings, we can set the title and the description for each page. This information will be displayed, for example, in search results. I'll type team in page title and then I'll add page description. All right, next step, a badge. It should be uploaded under the badge tab. By default, the first picture on the page is assigned as a badge. In my case, this is a photograph of the organizer. I can replace the image by uploading another one here. I click on Upload File, drag and drop this photo, and save the changes. Alright, the badge is changed now. So what's next? Well, I really like the first screen on one of the inner pages. This is a full screen cover, different from the cover on the home page. I want to have the same cover styling for the team page. What is the simplest way to go? In the upper right corner of the block, I choose copy from this drop down menu. Then I go to the team page and in the same drop down menu, I click paste. Here we go, the block has been pasted. Now I move it to the top of the page and I want to change the content. I drag and drop the photo, type in the correct title of the page and adjust some visual settings. All right, we're done. The team page has its own cover now. I would also insert a small text block under the cover to add some space in between the cover and the team section. I click on the plus icon, text block, I also want to have the contact section on each inner page and a button that allows to sign up for a trip right away. As a first step to creating a menu, I'm going to freeze certain blocks so that they appear automatically 
on all the pages of the website. These blocks are called header and footer. It's a good idea to designate the menu block as a header. To make it, I go back to the list of my website pages and click on create a new page. I choose the blank page and I'm gonna use it as a header. Here I click on more blocks to access the blocks library on the left panel and choose one of the menu blocks. Here, in the content, I replace the company name Then, in the Menu Items tab, I type in the names for the menu items I need. I want to have here the home page, uh, the team page, and the tour page. Alright, let's save it. This is how the menu has changed. Now back to content menu items and here on the right I need to add the links that will open each page. For the inner pages I don't need to type the URL myself. I just click link to page and choose the corresponding one from the list of the created pages. I do the same for the tour page and for the home page it's even easier. A slash is enough. I hit save and close on top, we have just set up the menu, but it is not finished yet. I want the background of the menu to be transparent, so that it can overlay the cover we created for the inner pages. In other words, I don't want this black bar under the menu. To do this, I open block settings, go to menu background, and I set the menu background opacity to zero. Let's save the changes and do the last thing. Back to settings. In the main settings, the menu position behavior can be adjusted. It's static by default. What I want is that when the page is scrolled, the menu remains attached to the cover and is not fixed at the top of the browser. So I choose the absolute option. Let's save the changes. Our menu is created. Now, how do I make it appear on all pages? Let me go back to the list of the pages, open the menu page settings and name it as a header. This way it will be easier for me to recognize it. To set this page as a header, I go to site settings, select the header and footer tab on the left pane and set the page as a header by selecting it from the list. Save the changes. Now we need to create a footer. By the way, the header and footer appear separately in the page list, which makes it very easy to spot them. To make a footer, I follow the same steps as with the header. I create a new blank page First, we add a random block from the library. It will allow us to paste blocks from other pages. Then I want to copy the context block from the home page. Back to our footer. Paste. Now I can just delete this text block as I don't need it anymore. Then I click on the plus icon under the contacts section and pick a block from the form and button tab on the left. I need to adjust my future sign up button block that will lead to the registration form.
All right, so the sign up button block is done. I move it above the contacts block. This is how my footer looks like. It's a block with a button and the contact section with the phone number and the email address. Now I go back to the list of pages. I rename it in the page settings as footer. And inside settings, I assign it as a footer. Save changes. Great. Now let's check out what we have done so far. Let's open the team page. Preview. Here on top, we have a menu that we have just created in header. And we also have a footer with a button and the contacts. Now let's see what the tour page looks like. Preview. Yes, everything seems to be okay. I see the header. And the footer was also applied, perfect. But what about the home page? Because header and footer are also applied to it. Let's check it out. Let's have a look. Preview. The header is hidden under the main menu. It is white and that's why we can't see it now. We can also see the footer here, but we don't need header and footer on the home page. To remove them, go back to the home page editor, click settings on the upper right. Hit the additional tab over here. There are special items here, allowing not to use the header and not to use the footer for this page. Tick them both and save the changes. Now let's reload our preview. And now header and footer are no longer displayed here. Perfect. So we are almost there. The only thing is that our pages are not connected among them in any way. Let's see how we can link them to each other. First, we have already assigned a URL address to each page, which means that we can link them through the menu now. Also, the sign up buttons on the inner pages should be connected to the registration form. Let's start from the header and footer. We go back to the pages list. In the header, we have already set all the URL addresses in the block menu right here. Now we need to set those URLs on the home page because we are using a different menu there. I go to contents and select the corresponding pages for every menu item, just like I did for the header menu. So here I choose page of a tour. Here I choose the team page and I save the changes. On the home page, there is also a form allowing users to sign up for a trip. On the inner pages, we have a button that should be linked to this form. The button is located in the footer section. So how do we link this button to the form on the home page? Let's get back to the home page. And we'll do this by adding an anchor link. Right before the block with the form on the home page, we 
we need to insert the anchor link block. So we click on a plus icon. We go until the other tab in the block library and we choose the anchor link. Let's name it form. Save and close. Now let's switch to footer where we have the sign up button. This button is supposed to lead us to the form. Here in the content section, we set a button link. What I need to type is a slash for the home page, followed by a hash, which is a sign for the anchor link, and the name of this anchor, form, and I save the changes. I go back to the list of the pages, and I publish all pages again to see how all the changes worked. So here is the home page. Let's try to go to the team page. It worked. Now from here, we want to go to the tour page. Cool. This transition worked too. Now I scroll down. Let's say I really like this tour description and want to sign up for it. Here I hit the sign up button and it brings me to the registration form on the home page. Now everything is ready, everything is set up. We have a beautiful travel club website. Now try to create your own multi page website. Thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone.